Okay, this is a, an attempt to do a recording of comparing my Zoom 75 that I just recently built to a SteelSeries Apex Pro TKL. I'm mainly doing this uh, because my one friend kind of wanted a comparison of uh, the sound levels and whatnot. And hopefully I can do this properly that it doesn't suck too much. But we're just uh, winging this type of thing. So much so that I don't even have the notepad app up. All right. So we're going to do some editing. Now, before I get involved with this, I just want to kind of give you an idea of what this is. Uh, basically, all the foam that was in the kit I used and the switches I used were Gateron, Was it a uh, blue bubble gum switches? Now I'm not sure how it works with the custom keyboard stuff and how switches are made and whatnot. But as far as I know, you can only get them on one website and uh, it's exclusive to that website. But the reason why I picked them out was, I think it was a uh, switch and click, I think is the YouTube channel. She did a, uh, a whole episode of switches of she's got a videos for linears and then tactile and clickies I believe and I wanted linear so I had watched that video and she just glanced over these switches but she put them in S tier and she put them in S tier because they're basically not lubed but they feel lubed I still recommend lubing them because I do believe there's still some spring ping in there when if you hit it hard enough. So I went ahead and lubed all of them. But that's just the gist. Uh, what I'm using, I'm using... I'm probably going to get the, the, the name wrong, but basically it's the Slate microphone that's with the... Uh, virtual mic locker which emulates microphones so in theory because it is uh, emulating other mics with a uh, software in theory this should be f fairly flat of a frequency so you shouldn't get any color at least not too much also I'm using a RME Fireface UFX Plus, which has some super clean converters, as well as a mic preamp. So it should be a fairly clean sounding of what you should actually, uh, what it should actually sound like. So I'm going to, uh, switch over to the Steel Series first and kind of give you an idea of how that works. Alrighty, so this is the Steel Series Apex Pro. They apparently do that. I'm not sure why, but they do it in videos. Alrighty. Here's the uh, stabilizers too, I want to do that first. Alrighty.
here. So that's the Apex Pro. Yeah. That's another thing. This thing is like five pounds. And now here is the uh, Zoom 75 and how it sounds. So yeah, that is the uh, Zoom 75. I'm not sure if it'll sound much different on camera or not, but it sounds and feels way different and way better. And I feel like it's worth the... I went a little bit heavy on price because I don't... The kit, I don't think, is actually very expensive overall when you think about it. It's five pounds. It's got everything you need to actually make it sound beautiful. And uh, that comes in at $200. If you wanted to get the LCD screen, that was another $20, I believe. Shipping's where they really got you because you pay for uh, foreign shipping prices. So you're basically paying... 30 or 40 dollars for shipping things uh, five pounds but where it gets expensive and where i got made myself get expensive was the switches there's much cheaper switches out there that can do just as good when they're lubed but these were like I want to say seven dollars for ten and i bought a hundred so i put seventy dollars into these so that's where they you can get uh a lot cheaper you can get uh switches for like 40 bucks to fill this out so there's ways of cutting corners i just figured i'm going to go kind of all out for my first keyboard but anyway that's uh, my keyboard, my Zoom 75, and I definitely love it, and I feel like it was worth the price that I put into it. And I actually bought a Zoom 65 as well, pre-made, because I like the custom look that they had on it, but we're going to get it, uh, going to use that as, like, a test bed for, like, switches and stuff like that. But, anyway, I hope that was a, a good enough overview of sound and stuff and it does feel different it feels much better than the steel series anyway bye